Yeah, Josh here with the Proud Productions back in Blender. 31st modeling tutorial. We're going to talk about the cast modifier. Get rid of the cube. We don't need it. Shift A. We're going to grab a monkey. Get that monkey. Don't be. He's cute. He's cute. We're going to shift squiggly. Get right in front of him. You know what I'm saying? Get right in front of the monkey. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make a couple changes real quick. We're just going to the modifiers. Okay. Add a modifier just real quick. We're just doing this. Subdivision surface. I like him right there. Ah, let's just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Let's apply it. Let's leave where it's at. Right click on him, make sure it's you're in edit mode, right? And then click it on smooth like I just did. You know what I'm saying? Got him a smell a little smooth little monkey. Now I just wanna this is a really super easy, quick, fast, um, quick, super fast tutorial here. Just real quick, I'm gonna show this modifier because it's kind of neat how you can deform this mesh based off another shape. You can do more stuff with it, but I haven't really experimented too much because I've never really got any good uh, good results. But we're gonna go to the cast. Look right here. That right there, that bad baby right now. You know this up. He got a little fat. Yeah, a little fat, and that's how I like them. Now, I'm going to put this to the number one. You can see here that I got the X, Y, Z axis, and then I've got the size, the radius, stuff like that. And then, of course, I've got a, I've got a sphere, a cylinder, or a cuboid. You know what I mean? Now, as you can leave everything where it is, we've got the sphere selected, we got the cylinder selected, or we got the cuboid selected. And you can see what's happening there. It's just taking my mesh here and kind of, kind of, kind of turning it into that. Now here we'll, we'll set the factor to zero. Okay, we'll set it to zero, and you'll notice that it's back to normal. Okay, and we'll set it back to 0.5. Oh no, oh no, leave it alone, leave it alone. Don't, don't be touching stuff you're not supposed to touch, bro. Set the factor to zero. Fine. Set the factor to 0.5. It's like that. So if we set the factor to one, it's a ball. You know what I'm saying? It's a sphere. Now if I go here, it'll be as close to a cylinder as it can, right? Except because it's got a little fat hanging down there. Not a big deal, not a big deal, no problem. And we got the box, you know what I'm saying? We got the little box here. And again, what it's doing, it's, it's doing the best it can at, at taking the model and converting it to that shape from zero to one. Now, we can obviously do some stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? We can kind of like change how we're, how, how we're looking at things. You know, so like go back to the ball, you know what I'm saying? And we can just do the, to the X and the Y. It's kind of neat what we get there. So, uh, you know, you, you can kind of toy with that. But with the, the point is, a couple of these parameters, you can actually do this with any object, but a couple of these parameters will really change the way it works. So it's set to about a 0.2, okay? We're going to set it to a 0.2 so he's just a little bit fatter. If you look at him right here at zero, well, we'll say 0.3, okay? He's just a little bit fatter. Now, if I change this radius, you'll notice that I can kind of get a different result. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of doing it like that. And if I go back and toy with it, oh, wow. Now, it's now if I, if I set it to 0.5 at this point, it, it's, it's still kind of the same, but this is kind of adjusting the size to an extent, but it's the radius of the sphere itself or the radius of the object itself, like the, like the, like the, uh, the cylinder. So when you're, like I said, the cast modifier is literally just taking this shape, whatever it may be, and kind of deforming it based off this mesh, how much the factor is in the radius, and then obviously these three axes right here, X, Y, and Z. And I think it looks kind of neat if you just do the, uh, the Z sometimes with the cylinder and stretch him out. Because, I mean, it does a pretty good job if you do it right. Oh, sorry, not that. The ball. The ball. Not this. The, oh, God. Oh, God. See, I've done went and broke it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you go too far, you will definitely break your mesh. Now, I've got him all fat. He's, he's long. He's, he's long. That's how I like him. You know what I'm saying? Let's just check it out. So, let's, 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 come, let's get rid of it all together. Boom. And we're going to go back at another one. Cost, cast modifier. Apologize. We're going to set it to the cuboid. Set it to the low, low box. Now, what we could do, you know, because I like his ears, you know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take the Y. Let, 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 yeah, let's do just the Y. Let's see what just the Y looks like, right? And let's, let's stretch it out to where it's just like, oh, God. Oh, man, you could flatten that out like that. Pretty interesting, right, how we did that, flatten his, flatten his face. Now, let's do the X, just the X, right? Maybe the X and the Z. And we'll do it like this. Check, check it out. So I basically, like, I'm trying to keep his ears. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep his ears a little bit. Let's, let's just put the whole bad baby on here. Hold on, let's do it. Hold on. Don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm good in places. Okay, so now we got a box with a face on it. You know what I'm saying? I could change the radius now to where it's like up, 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 up. Keep his ears a little bit. So now it's just pretty much like a box monkey. And then you could go in here and make some changes to, like, goof up his face if he didn't want it to look like the same kind of face. You know what I'm saying? There's always kind of sculpting tools and stuff like that. But the point is now, now check this out. I'm going to do a shift A real quick. I'm going to grab a, let's just grab another monkey. Okay. Actually, no, don't do that. It's going to be confusing. Let's add a, let's add a box. Let's add a little cube. Okay. And where is he at? We'll grab him on the Y and then press five. Okay. And he's way back here now. Okay. So there's our box. Now what we can do is we can click on this thing. Let's, let's get rid of it all together. Add a new one. Okay. Now leave all these alone. So set this to, set it to zero. Right. Let's set it to, now what we have right here is like the control object. So we're going to take the control object and I could actually just, I could use the little thing or I just know it's the cube. Right. Okay. Okay, so now if I move the cube, what happens? Nothing. I messed it up. 
Oh yeah, I definitely, I definitely messed it up. Here, hold on, hold on just a second. I got him. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. We gotta set this to about 0.5. You gotta set it to like 0.5, and then I'm gonna set it to my cube. Now, check it out. <clears throat> when I move the cube, it kind of adjusts how much of the fat is happening on your on your thing. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't experimented. I have not experimented much with this. It's, I'm kind of just toying with it right now. But I've noticed that. It kind of, I'm not 100% sure if it's wrapping around it or something like that, but it's definitely affected by the object. But you can tell when I get close to it, it kind of opens back up a little bit, which is kind of odd there because it looks like I'm squishing it, but I'm opening it up. But then it looks like it's running from me. You know, it's, it's running from me. It's, it's like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's kind of weird. You know, I'm trying to understand that. So if you guys have any information, holler at me. But I've been kind of just toying with it here recently. I thought it was really neat how you could deform the object. Again, when it comes to adding a control object, it's a little more confusing. I'm not going to lie. It's a little more complicated and have fun with all that. But when it comes to just deforming your object a little bit, no matter what it may be, and I'm saying something simple like a, let's grab a torus, right? We'll grab a torus here, and then we will do the same thing. Let's do a little subdivision surface, you know what I'm saying? Do that kind of thing, and then we'll smooth it out. So we got a little sonic ring here. You know, I could rotate it on the Y about a 90 degree and have like a little a ring ring, you know what I'm saying? Like a little ding ding or whatever happens when you select one. And then we go here, right? We, we apply, obviously, everything we've done here. I think we did. We, we, I don't I don't. I don't what's going on here but the point is let's go to the cast okay and you notice now that this thing is kind of like a really flat ring so what happened there you know what i'm saying like we really flattened that ring based off the fact that we did like a sphere thing and it can get kind of weird you can make them kind of like one of those kind of o's which i think is kind of sweet you know what i'm saying i kind of did that number right there or just the z you know what i'm saying what is happening there kind of kind of interesting you notice that just the z kind of just it's it dude it's wild i'm not gonna lie like what all you can do let's set it to the cylinder Okay, I don't really know. Not not a lot of change there, but the the square that is uh, that is wild, dude. I mean, you got some you got some interesting stuff going on there, and then obviously you can change this to one. Oh, oh sorry, not one, but oh god, what is that? That is gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? Like, what shape is that? I'm gonna apply that because I done made something sweet and I didn't mean to. But look at this flower we made, guys. This is this was an accident, and I just want to say that out loud right now. I didn't mean to do this, but man, it is pretty. And I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like I might, I might, I might toy with this a little bit now. So thanks for watching this video and thanks for letting me do it because I learned a little something, something. And now I'm gonna play along with it a little bit, play around with it a little bit. Honestly, if it were me, I'd go right back in here and add me a, add me another cast, and then I'd start toying with this one. So I might be like, okay, what? Well, no, let's keep them both. Let's get rid of the Z and then like do this kind of like. Oh man, what kind of craziness? What kind of craziness have we created, dude? I mean, dude, that's this what I'm saying. That's what's sweeter about, about Blender. It's like you can sit here and really toy with stuff, and I'll, we can flatten it out now. Maybe let's flatten it out and see what it looks like all flat. Okay, interesting, interesting look, interesting, interesting geometry there. You know what I mean? Interesting geometry. It's kind of cool. Uh, we might subdivide it again. You know what I'm saying? Now at this point, I'm just I'm just doing weird stuff. I'm subdividing. I've got too many faces now. I'm not gonna lie to you, but man, that sure is pretty. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a wheel. Kind of like a wheel, but a little broken. Guys, thanks for watching Joshua with the Proud Productions. I'm done messing around today. I was just, I'm not going to lie, I started goofing off, and I apologize. But yeah, 31st uh, modeling tutorial. Hope you, hope you learned a little something. This is kind of what happens to me when I'm toying with these modifiers. I just recently, you know, started, started messing with this one here recently and hadn't jumped into it too deep, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of toyed around with some message, but I meshes, but I did not do this. <laughs> Pretty cool. Definitely check it out, man. Have some fun with it. Just wanted to walk y'all through it. 31st Blender Modeling Modifier Nonsense Tutorials or whatever. We got all kind of cool stuff. We're going to talk about volume and volumetric stuff soon. Kind of neat, making some clouds and snap. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Love you, miss you. I'll be on you one day. Uh, hit us up, YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Facebook, we got like 30, almost 3,100, 3,200 subscribers, something in there. It's amazing. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Peace.